Travis says, deworm them dogs. Contrary to popular belief in parts of the South, a dog's worst enemy isn't a Florida gator, it's not a Clemson tiger, it's not even a rambling wreck from Georgia Tech. No, it's something much smaller, much more dangerous, and much more deadly. It's hard to imagine that something as small as a worm in the intestines of your puppy or dog can be deadly, but worms are one of the major cause leading causes of death in puppies and older dogs. There are many mistaken thoughts about worms in dogs. Some people believe that worms can be caused by milk and cured by onions. Others believe that worms, according to old wives' tales, can be cured by home remedies. But if you suspect that your dog has worms, you and your dog should visit your local veterinarian. There are five major types of worms that can affect your puppy or dog. They are round worms, tapeworms, whipworms, hookworms, and heartworms. There are many indications that your dog may have worms. Your dog may scratch more than normal. His coat may appear dull and his skin may feel scaly. He may have a change in appetite, such as a loss in appetite, or he may appear ravenous. His eyes may appear dull and he may act listless. With hookworms and whipworms, he may experience diarrhea, and with tapeworms, he may drag his rear end on the ground, but this could also indicate other problems. Roundworms are the most common type of worm that affect pup dogs as well as cats. They can cause a serious problem in humans, mainly children, which is why it's important to keep yards, kennels, and homes sanitized when puppies and children share an area. Roundworms are spaghetti-like worms. They're about the diameter of a strand of spaghetti and about four inches long. Puppies can be born with roundworms because the larvae travel through the placental blood supply to the fetal lungs and liver. After birth, the juvenile roundworm migrates to the intestines where it matures to adulthood and the cycle begins all over again. Roundworms can be transmitted through mother's milk or through other contaminated food. Roundworms are very easy to treat with a simple over-the-counter oral wormer. Tapeworms are the most common type of worm seen by people. Pet owners usually find tapeworms in a favorite chair or pet bedding when a pet gets up. Tapeworms appear as a segmented chain under a microscope or as small grains of rice in the feces and vomit of puppies. Tapeworms use a flea larva as an intermediate host. Tapeworms pass the eggs through feces and then flea larvae eat the eggs. The, edge, the eggs then hatch inside the intermediate host and then fleas are eaten off other animals or contaminated food that your dog may consume. It takes a special medicine prescribed by your veterinarian, like Dronset, to deworm your animal. Whipworms get their name from the characteristic whip-like shape of the adult. They live in the intestines and embed themselves in the cells that line the intestinal wall. Each female whipworm can lay up to 10,000 eggs per day, and these worms can live for several years. Whipworm infection takes about three weeks, and the eggs are passed through feces. A simple microscopic examination of stool is one way to determine if your dog has whipworms. If whipworms go untreated by your veterinarian, they can become a very serious problem. Hookworms are very unique. Hookworms are blood suckers, and they can suck up to 0.1 cc of blood per day. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but when you think about how many worms are in, it, in an infestation, the amount really adds up. As with roundworms, puppies can be born with hookworms. Hookworms thrive in warm, moist environments like sand, and they can be swallowed or can penetrate a dog's skin even without abrasions. They can live up to 18 hours without a living host in the right environments, and that's why on most beaches, dogs aren't allowed where an infestation could begin. Hookworms, however, are very easy to treat with a simple over-the-counter farmer. Heartworms were once confined to the southern United States where the mosquito is most prevalent, but now it's a major problem in all parts of North America. This is the heart of a dog that died of heartworms. It was removed during a necropsy and placed in a jar of formaldehyde. The adult mosquito passes an, passes an immature form of worm from dog to dog. There they migrate through the bloodstream to the heart and large blood vessels where it matures to adulthood, and there it damages the heart, liver, lungs, and kidneys. Although at this stage, most of the disease can be corrected, a lot of the damage has already been done. A simple blood test performed by your veterinarian can detect heartworms in the early stages before damage has been done. There are many over-the-counter medications that you can give your dog to prevent heartworms, and we all know that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Although this is a preventive treatment, you still want a routine blood test performed by your veterinarian every six months. 
Many people believe that a dog should be wormed routinely. This is not true according to several books I've consulted and my local veterinarian, Dr. Jim Ron. What should be done routinely is a microscopic examination of stool. A puppy should be worn first when he is six weeks old, and then once a month until he is six months old, and then every six months after that, a microscopic examination of stool should be performed by your veterinarian. There are many over-the-counter medications that you can give your dog, and all these medications have dosages determined by the weight of the animal and are not recommended for puppies under six weeks of age. That's why it's very important that the first warming of your dog be performed by your veterinarian. There are directions on the box that you can follow when you give your animal the wormer, and it's very important that you follow any instructions given to you by your vet. If you don't feel comfortable with the directions or his instructions, take your animal to your veterinarian's office for treatment. Worms can be deadly and allow other diseases to harm your dog by reducing his resistance, but there are ways that you can help protect our beloved mas mascot and man best, man's best friend from these killers. Watch for any unusual behavior in your puppy or dog, schedule regular checkups for routine testing, and follow your vet's advice for preventive treatment. Just remember, Uggas says, deworm them dogs! Thank you.